I'm, uh, I'm John Howard. I'm the lead designer on uh, Halo for uh, the Xbox. Halo is an action shooter game. Uh, it takes place in the future, science fiction. See, we got a couple human dropships here coming in. We're going to assault this alien position. Uh, a little bit of background about Halo. Uh, humanity is losing a battle, losing a war against an alien race called the Covenant. And the Covenant uh, have pursued us to this ancient alien ring world out in deep space. We don't know why it's there or who built it. But over the course of the game, you learn why, how long, excuse me, how long it's been there, who built it, and for what ultimate purpose. So basically, we're going to come out here. The core, core, core component of the game is combat and combat action. So we're basically going to drop up. Me and a couple uh, Marines got dropped off on this beach by these drop ships. And you can see the way AI move. Basically, the AI are really good and smart. They move in groups that provide covering fire for each other. They'll advance on positions. They'll use cover. They'll uh, they'll call out when uh, when you're in their way. If they want to shoot around you, if they accidentally hit with stray bullets, they apologize. All sorts of cool stuff like that. A few of them are pretty traditional. Stuff like grenades, machine guns. There we go. So these guys are going to advance up here. We're going to take on this next position. Some more bad guys over here. So there's a lot of different types of uh, a lot of different types of aliens. Uh, they all have different abilities, different weapons. So we're just going to clear up this beach position here. All right, now the beach is clear. You can see Halo moving up here in the distance. It's a big ring world. The entire surface of the inside of the ring, like a wedding ring, is covered with uh, is covered with different different biomes: beaches, deserts, uh, swamps, forests, uh, Arctic Arctic terrain, mountains. This is a human dropship called the Pelican. It's going to bring in uh, our jeep here, Warthog. So they got a chain gunner in the back there. Going to hop in. In the hog with us. So I talked a little bit about the AI. The AI are pretty smart. I can just pull up here, and the AI knows that Jeep, uh, being, being riding shotgun on a Jeep is a safe thing and a good thing, and being in a turret is a good thing. So if I pull up to any group of Marines anywhere on Halo, one of the, and I don't have a chain gunner or a guy riding shotgun, he's going to hop right the Jeep with me. Uh, I'm going to come around this corner. The same thing is also true about the enemy AI. The enemy AI are pretty smart. So if you leave a Jeep unattended, your chain gunner gets killed or something like that, or you have a guy in a chain gun, when you come out of the structure, there's a pretty good chance that an enemy enemy air is going to crawl up in your vehicle's chain gun and is going to try and kill you with it. So you got to be a little careful. Go over here. I can also just run guys down with my Jeep. If I don't want to, if I don't want to wait for my chain gunner to kill him, or if I don't have a chain gunner. Oh, come around here. I'm gonna slide out here. I'm gonna, I, I, I don't know what the game is gonna speak for itself in terms of visuals. We're able to do a lot of cool stuff with the Xbox. This is just a nice little detail. You see the, the way the sun works through these trees. It's pretty, pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna continue kicking ass here. Hop in the Jeep. Drive over here. The, hail, the Covenant has taken over this uh, structure. The claim that is one of their own bases. So basically, we're gonna infiltrate. Basically, come in uh, commando style. Set up our chain gun. I'm gonna hop out over here while everyone's distracted and lob a couple grenades in there. Head inside. A couple more guys over here. So you can see my shield's down right now. Uh, I have an energy shield in the game, so if I wait for a little while, it'll recharge back up, and now I have to take my energy shield back down again before they can actually start hurting my health. Um, so this is actually the first mission you play when you get to Halo. Uh, this is your life pod. Uh, you're in a human uh, uh, interstellar spacecraft called the Pillar of Autumn that was attacked by the Covenant, and you... Uh, uh, escape from Halo, in a, or escape from the from the ship in a drop ship. Or this is a light pod. Can you move? Which crash lands on Halo. And there are other groups of Marines on isolated bands of human resistance all over Halo who have landed in escape pods as well. As well as a couple, you saw the drop ships and the vehicles who made it made it made it onto the surface so pretty much unscathed. So you have a little bit of fire support. So you're constantly going to be constantly be finding other Marines. So this is actually the first place you land on Halo. You can see the uh, the ocean stretching out in the distance here, and the sun reflecting off the water, and the land way below there. 
this beautiful forest and valley. You can see Halo running up in the distance there. And this waterfall in the background. We're able to do uh, uh, amazing things on the Xbox in terms of environment, be able to create really realistic looking scenes. Look at that. Uh, over here, you see this flying over. Here's a Covenant dropship. They use uh, dropships to bring in troops just the same way we do. Um, so they basically track my life pod as it came in and uh, track my life pod as it came in and now are uh, uh, searching, for, searching the area for survivors. And I think they've. Uh, I think they've spotted me, so I'm going to hightail it over here, trying to get myself some cover. So like I talked about the AI, the, 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 way, the same way the human AI are smart in terms of advancing, working in groups, using cover, things like that. Whoa! I shot it right over my head. All right, I'm stuck over this side. Uh, the enemy AI work the same way. Uh, the big blue guys are the uh, Covenant elites. So they're pretty much the leaders. Uh, they have big energy shields and they can be pretty tough. But uh, if I manage to take them out, all the grunts, all the guys in the orange and red arm are little short guys. Will uh, will flee. They put their arms around their head and they'll just run away screaming and go hide. So I have to go dig them out. So there is strategy in terms of what kind of guys you want to take out first. Taking out the leadership, taking out the leadership of the squad, things like that. So I'm gonna move through this area. This area is this area is a bit slow right now. We're still working on this mission, but uh, one thing I didn't show you before. So I got a human pistol. Human weapons are pretty traditional, but I can pick up and I can use alien weapons. So which isn't uncommon in most games. The big difference is that most games, but well, you pick up all the weapons at once. You can carry them around. You're basically a big human Swiss Army knife. We wanted you to have to. Uh, uh, you can, only, you can only carry a certain number of weapons at, at a time in Halo. So why don't you have to think about what weapons you wanted to carry with you, what your ammo situation was, the kind of, uh, the kind of mission you were going to go in and handle, uh, all sorts of stuff like that, so that the game would feel different every time you played it, but also so that you were, you were making more decisions, you were thinking, and again, it's about using those tools, which is the ultimate, ultimate thing we talk about when we're playing Halo, what, we're, what, what Halo is really about is giving you this set of tools, giving you a set of weapons, giving you a set of really smart AI, some cool vehicles, stuff like that, to really decide how you want to play the game. 